guys welcome to another video uh, today I'm back at uh, a place where I haven't been for over a year now since the pandemic started and uh, I'm very happy to show you one of the most picturesque places in Montenegro or if I can dare to say in the whole Europe so we are in Perast uh, which is uh, just a 10 minute drive from Kotor and uh, after Kotor I can say that this is my uh, favorite place to go to in Boca Bay either by driving yourself or taking a taxi or public transportation as uh, just here there is a parking uh, next to the main road you can pay for five euros during the summer season or it's free during the winter time and uh, then you just take a, a little road uh, that will take you down to the town I can say that it is truly a blessing to be in Boca Bay and to be able to explore uh, Perast on a such sunny and warm day as the scenery is amazing, the air is crisp, uh, you can feel the salt in the air and uh, it really gives you an amazing feeling uh, of a great place to be and uh, of course to explore, explore the rich heritage of uh, such place like Perast. Perast is a small town with uh, just a couple of uh, hundred of people living here uh, all year round and uh, during summer it does get busier um, even though it's still uh, very quiet and uh, I would say it is a perfect getaway to explore um, uh, just uh, 10 or 15 minutes from Kotor so uh, today it's uh, very quiet it's kind of a blessing in disguise to be practically alone in uh, such place and uh, enjoy it um, perast is known for its uh, baroque uh, houses and uh, palaces which are dating from 17th and uh, 18th century so you will notice uh, there are uh, hundreds of uh, stone houses and palaces uh, some of them are refurbished so they look uh, quite uh, they're quite in a good shape but still uh, they are refurbished in a state that it does reflect uh, Peras the rich heritage and the culture in case you decide to spend a night or more in this beautiful town you can uh, book a room in one of these nice uh, stone houses as you can see they are directly overlooking the sea and I imagine this is a great place to stay uh, usually during the summer season uh, rooms in uh, such stone houses will be around 60 70 even up to 100 euros as uh, they are right here uh, by the coastline and uh, they have really nice uh, balconies so you can enjoy the view and uh, relax over there as you see the palaces are truly beautiful and uh, this is real gem here in uh, Boca Bay um, there are also some very cool cafes with the cool cozy gardens you get some morning coffee or lunch or dinner Besides beautiful apartments in uh, renovated palaces, you can also find a couple of uh, very cool uh, boutique hotels. They are ranging from 3, 4 and uh, 5 star. Um, these are also very cool options uh, for you to find accommodation as uh, these hotels are also here uh, right on the promenade and overlooking the beautiful bay. Uh, this is one of very cool hotels right here on the water it has a couple of cool rooms and the suites called admiral and uh, there is really a nice garden here as you see and a nice cozy restaurant guys how amazing is perast i really get impressed over and over again as it has been a while as i mentioned over a year so 
this place is really stunning in the backdrop you can see two little islands <clears throat> we're going to do a tour of uh, our lady of the rock island also here around the bay you can book uh, one of those boca bay tours to take you around for an hour or a couple more hours uh, it is definitely a great way to spend a couple of hours on the water and enjoy the beauty of the mountains and the sea uh, Perast Promenade is a couple of kilometers long so it's not uh, too long and now we pretty much arrived to what is a main square here so as you can see there is a big cathedral with a very cool palm trees and in the backdrop you can see more palaces and churches and also here on the main square there are statues of uh, some of the most prominent people from Perast and actually Perast is famous for its uh, naval heritage One of the uh, nicest palaces here in Perast. It's called the uh, Palata Smekia, as you see from the 18th century. And this one has been refurbished. Today is a luxury five-star hotel. I don't think really that I support such development as uh, these beautiful palaces should remain the cultural heritage of the country. Guys, the building behind me is the Perast uh, City Museum. This is, uh, I would say, one of the most impressive uh, palaces here in Perast and it is stunning, it is simply stunning. And uh, after the museum, we are pretty much uh, ending the tour of the promenade. So as you see the promenade uh, isn't so big, a couple of kilometers, so a couple of hours is uh, more than enough to explore uh, this part of Perast. Across us are two stunning islands, uh, one of them is called uh, Our Lady of the Rocks and we're gonna do a boat ride now and uh, take some really cool pictures and uh, I'm gonna tell you more information about the history and actually a very cool legend that's connected uh, to this island. All right, guys, so now after we tour the promenade, we are going to take a little boat ride. We have a very cool boat here and uh, it will take us straight to those two islands over there. So the second one with a small church, it's actually not possible to uh, visit, but the one with the church with a little blue dome. Uh, there is a cool museum, so we're going to take a tour of them. Uh, the boats like this are usually uh, about uh, five euros per person, so it will take you to the church and it will wait for you for about uh, half an hour to pick you up. Um, also, you can choose uh, maybe to make a deal with the boat owner and uh, the boat owner can uh, take pretty much a tour around the whole uh, Boca Bay either uh, that can take a couple of hours as I mentioned or we can also do a shorter tour for about uh, one or two hours to take the panoramic uh, Perast uh, tour so let's check out the islands this is our boat owner called Milan Hi. amazing guys and we thank you and <laughs> He is the Peras, the native, and it is great actually to have a person from Peras who can uh, give you the tips and advices and who, and who knows uh, this place uh, inside out.
approaching a beautiful island uh, called Our Lady of the Rocks. Uh, there is a really cool legend connected to this island, how the island originated and uh, it is a great legacy and heritage uh, from this area. The island has a little church and uh, it is amazing to be visited on a such sunny day. So the legend about how the island originated says that two fishermen uh, found uh, a small rock coming out of the water and uh, on that rock there was an icon of uh, Lady Mary. So they believed this was a sign from God and they took the icon and brought to Perast uh, church. Uh, overnight the icon disappeared and then uh, showed up again here in the middle of the sea on a rock. Uh, they believed again this was a sign from God so over the years and the decades uh, they started putting more and more rocks and eventually uh, the whole uh, island was uh, built. Uh, the church itself is uh, almost 500 years old it originates from the 17th century. Guys, how amazing and impressive this island and this church is. I'm simply stunned and I'm very happy to share this with you and today's experience. And uh, I'm very happy actually because I managed to do some very cool drone shots. You can see those as well. Um, I believe this island is the most picturesque island in the whole Montenegro and it is perfect for photography and uh, video lovers. The mountains around the bay really add to the beauty of uh, the whole island as they really do dramatically rise up from the bay and uh, the whole setting is quite stunning. I know I repeat myself over and over in my videos, but it's simply very impressive and uh, I hope guys you will be able to enjoy Montenegro and uh, Boca Bay as well very soon. So here on the island you can uh, hire a guide for half an hour or one hour and the guide will uh, tell you more about the rich history of the whole island, it will provide you really uh, amazing details and also you will get to visit the museum with uh, so many uh, artifacts from the naval heritage of uh, Perast and uh, Boca Bay. Now let me show you how it looks like inside the church. Guys, that was a little tour of uh, Our Lady of the Rock Island, so now we're heading back to the mainland. <music> Guys, that was pretty much uh, the tour of Perast and all the highlights. Uh, I hope you like the video and uh, you figure out why Perast uh, should be on your must-visit list when exploring Boca Bay and the Kotor area. Uh, for your feedback, please do let me know in the comments below and of course if you have any questions. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel to stay tuned to my weekly content from Montenegro and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you for watching guys.